Hello there, welcome to Mikeytron Collective, a uh, place for cosplay, props, nerf and action figures. Today's wee video we're going to be doing a prop blaster paint up. Uh, this is a nerf super soaker, it's the Han Solo DL44 blaster. Uh, quite famous from Star Wars, Han Solo's sidearm of choice. Uh, this is the super soaker version, not the nerf dart firing version. But it's still it's a it's a decent size. It's not quite as big as the Nerf uh, the Nerf uh, da foam dart firing one. It's a little bit smaller, but still it's a decent size for good prop. So we'll get this out of the box. Uh, yeah, so it's a uh, fill up on the top here, little cap on the top, and it's just a kind of trigger pull water pistol. Uh, yeah, I've no intention of filling this up with water and trying it. I'm just going to paint it up as a prop. Uh, and have it on display or whatever, we'll see what happens. So what we're going to be doing is coming in with sand, uh, sander, we'll take off the Star Wars logo here, and there's a little bit of information in the back here, we'll get into that. We'll then set about it everywhere with the sandpaper, we'll get sand and blocks to it, uh, finishing off with a nice fine one, getting into as much of this, as quite a lot of recesses and things in there, so it's going to take a bit of work to get in about it. Uh, unfortunately we can't... Yeah, the scope's kind of solid. It's not. It's kind of pretend scope, and it's also hands actually sits off to the side. This one sits on top, uh, so it's not an exact replica, but it looks good. It's a decent size. It should uh, not bad. What we'll do as well, we'll come in with the drill and we'll drill out the holes in the mus uh, flash hider here. Uh, we'll just give us a general sand up and prepare it. Uh, so I'll do that next. So here we are. We have the blaster nice and prepared now. This has been had a good sanding down and a good wash. Uh, so what we've done, you can see here, I've uh, drilled out the holes in the flash hider. That took a wee while, there's a lot of them in there. Uh, just got a nice drill bit that fitted nice in, drilled them all out. I still need to get into there, I'm going to get into there with a needle file and file them out because they're a bit rough still. Uh, we've taken off the Star Wars logo on the scope here and we've taken off all this information here. It's still a bit wet actually. Uh, and what I also did is I took off the kind of linkage that was around the top of the uh, water stopper there. Just because that kind of stuck out, stuck out and looked a bit funny, and there was also a kind of clip there that looks a bit more, a bit more like it now. But just that sat on top. I might glue that down uh, once we finish this. So next stage, and what we're going to do with this, because there's a lot of detail and recesses in here, I'm going to hit this with a black vinyl die as a base coat. Uh, we'll build, we'll get a couple of coats of black vinyl dye on that, and that should give us a nice dark black base coat. And then we're going to get about dry brushing it, uh, lots of dry brushing. A bit of detailing, we'll finish the handle with a kind of wood effect, I think. Uh, and we'll see how it looks when it's done. We'll get back to you once we've uh, got this uh, undercoated with the vinyl dye and we'll start doing some detailing. So here we are, we're back in. I've uh, given this a nice base coat now. This has had a couple of coats of black vinyl dye just to give it a nice base coat, and then I've given it a quick coat of a kind of metallic black acrylic paint. I don't know if you can see that, it just kind of catches in the light there. It's got little kind of spark, sparkles of metallic through it. And it gives it just a nice, it's a kind of matte, but then also kind of metallic, kind of gunmetally looking finish. Uh, so next up we're going to do, we're going to get this dry brushed. We're going to start dry brushing this to start highlighting it and build up a bit of detail into it. Uh, so what I've got here, uh, I'll just like, use these kind of cheap painter's brushes. You get about three of these in a pack, uh, usually quite cheap. We've just got a bit of silver paint here, so the clues in the name, dry brush. So what we do is we get a bit of paint on the brush, and just kind of work it into the bristles. But then we want to get all the excess paint off, so we've just got some paint up in the bristles, coating over the bristles, not a lot of it. And then what we're going to do is come in across the blaster, see all the ridges on the blaster here. I'm sure you've seen loads of dry brushing videos on YouTube and they're everywhere. So you brush brush against brush against the ridges with your brush and it just kinda starts to highlight. You can kind of pick out pick out the highlights and the edges. The best way to do this is just a very little paint at a time and just take your time. We do this back and forth, back and forth quite a lot. There's actually quite a bit more paint on that than I wanted it. Uh, and we just, yeah, if we go back and forth, we'll just do the whole blaster like this. We'll do a couple of layers and build it up. You can go over bits you want a bit more shinier 
and do them a bit more and go over them a couple of times. So once we've done that, we should have a nice kind of metallic looking effect on it. After that, I'm gonna we'll do a bit more kind of silver detailing. We'll just go in with some actual silver paint and do a few details, and the handle will do a kind of wood effect after that. Okay, cheers. So here we are. <clears throat> we've done one side here with the dry brushing. You can kind of see the difference that is made uh, with the metallic uh, black acrylic and then the kind of dry brush highlights. It really does make a difference. Here's the kind of is the flat black side. I've only done one side just now, so you can see the difference. And then you bring that round, and you've got the. the yeah, you can see the difference that made. It's picked out all the highlights and all the edges along these uh, bits of the blaster here. Uh, it really does make a difference and gives it quite a realistic uh, metallic looking effect. So I'll get on and do the other side now as well and then I'll start the other bits. So here we are, just thought I'd show you this wee bit. Uh, what I did was I kind of put some masking tape around the handle uh, just to mask off the kind of side panel of the handles uh, and then gave it uh, kind of thick dry brush of this kind of dark brown citadel and then that on top of the black paint uh, did give it quite a dark effect and that's good you got a lot of shading inside these lines here and in the middle there and then i just a uh, light dry brush over the top of the slightly lighter brown citadel paint here as well uh, and i'd kind of mask that off just to give the effect of like a kind of wooden panel on the side of the handle so what i'm going to do i'll take this masking tape off i'll do the other side and the other side's fully masked. Uh, I'll take that off and we'll get the other side done as well so they're both matching and we should have a nice effect on the handle. So here we are, finally finished. Uh, well, I say finally finished. I'm still going to clear coat this after this, but uh, finished painting anyway. Uh, wow, look at this. From uh, a super soaker bright blue pistol uh, to this uh, kind of feasible pop prop pistol now. It's really good. Uh, so anyway, as I showed you, we did the handle. So we've got the kind of wood panel look, that's going around both sides. So I've kind of masked that off so it looks like you've got the metal going through the handle and these are just wooden panels. Uh, I thought it was a bit dark with just all the black and the silver. So what I did was I came in and I did a kind of copper. I masked off the around the scope and I dry brushed the scope and I kind of coppered as well. Just to kind of set it out from the rest of the blaster. Uh, and I did some little silver details. It's a smudge there, I need to take that off. Uh, yeah, just filled in a few, few little minor details with a bit of a kind of, I guess said another Citadel paint, the Rumfung Steel one. Uh, but yeah, love how this has turned out. Really look good. I'm covered in paint now. But yeah, look at this. Lots of nice shade. Lots of nice highlights. Good bit of contrast. The masking tape's giving us good lines in that. That's a really good job. Uh, yeah, I might do another couple of these, see how they turn out. I might, uh, might do a couple of different, maybe try a brass on the scope, see if that looks a bit better. Might contrast with the brown a bit more. I think the copper looks quite brown. When you look at it with the handle, might try more of kind of brass or maybe even more of a gold. Uh, yeah, obviously these, these aren't exact replicas, these ones, but uh, yeah, they look good. These are definitely good, good use as props. Yeah, I've got me. I've got a couple. I've got a costume. These might go with actually. That'd be good. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, give it, a, give it a bash yourself if you pick one of these up. It's well worth it. It's quite a transformation it makes. Anyway, remember check us out on Facebook, Monkeytron Collective, and uh, please give us a like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. See you later.